Hey everyone, uh, Jeff here. Just coming at you with a little video today about uh, where we're at. Um, decided to use uh, paper while I'm at work. Jot down some notes. Uh, decide what I want to talk about. Um, not necessarily in the videos, but um, you know, it could be anything in in what I'm doing with uh, modding trucks or, you know, anything in life. I'm just trying to trying to write it down instead of having to try to remember it like a few days later, like what I was thinking. Um, makes it easy to piece everything together. So I decided to uh, give you some eye candy over there to look at while you're listening to me um, so basically a couple of notes um, first one is um, I had uh, overheard or over read whatever you want to call it uh, I was mentioned in a Google Plus post regarding a 24-hour stream of racing games or whatever the case may be um, I just wanted to address a couple of points. Uh, again, I haven't been contacted by uh, Brad or Jared or any of those folks that want to do that. Um, I know some of the, some of you may have, may have no idea what I'm talking about, so I will leave a link to the post in question, and you can uh, comment there if you so desire. Uh, the goal of the uh, Twitch channel um by Brad which I can totally appreciate um it would be cool to do what he's suggesting which really needs to be from the ground up uh from the ground up building uh it's essentially he wants to have a different person have almost a scheduled time to stream uh, so you'll say, say there's like six people, four hour blocks um, to cover the time. So that would be pretty cool. You'd, of course, have to have people from all over the country and the world to cover that time because not everybody that races wants to do it at 2 o'clock in the morning. So that's problem number one. Problem number two um, like I was saying, it only works from the ground up, um, meaning you're gonna have to you're gonna have to build this Twitch channel from nothing, um, and you're gonna need people that are willing to work with you to build it from nothing and give up either whatever they had before, or have not had anything, no followers or anything of that nature. Um, like right now, even though I have 150 followers, personally, I wouldn't be willing to give up the last year plus of work to start another channel with somebody else. Um, it's been a lot of time creating my community. I have a good, um, anytime I do stream, which unfortunately is less than I would like, but more to come on that, so don't go anywhere just yet. Um, the, the situation is you take that 150 away from me and put me in another channel, I'm, I'm not really guaranteed to see any of those people back. Um, I have a good community of, you know, 150 people, whereas there's pretty much 8 to 10 or so that do watch me at any given time. Um, so that's, of course, wonderful. But those folks would basically go away because I wouldn't necessarily be um, doing what they... Or, or playing a game which they would watch. So that would kind of be difficult. Uh, so, like I was saying... Folks aren't going to give up their following on another channel to create a new channel. 
Um, and I'm not really in the racing thing anymore. I mean, I do it on my own time, but I definitely wouldn't um, do a regular stream of it or anything like that. I don't think I've done it like three or four times on my channel. And there's just too much going on to... Um, there's too much going on in it for me to be looking at text and answering questions and uh, it's not quite as relaxed as as uh, trucking or trains or things like that. Um, it's... I probably take that stuff a little too seriously, so that's why I'm not really into the online racing and stuff like that. Uh, and then, so number four, if it's something that, if this is something that you want to do, you want to do what's called raiding. So you build up a group of, of um, a group of streamers, okay, that you're going to agree to do these things and you're going to agree to be on these times. Um, and you want those times to overlap. And what you do is basically at the end of your shift, we'll call it, um, you tell your followers that are watching you at the current time that, you know, you say something like, hey guys, uh, thanks for watching the stream today. And right now I want you to hit this link right down below in the chat to go over to um, my friends over at XYZ Stream and check those guys out. Really appreciate that, you know, stuff like that. So that's what's called rating. So you take your X amount of followers and you dump them in their pile. So there's a constant flow, like from one channel to the next year, you're, you're pushing people, you know, where you want to go. Of course, there are people that aren't going to find what they're looking for in the stream that you're pushing them to, but you're not also sacrificing your own stream and your own community for, um, you know, to trade it in for nothing and starting over again. So that's how I would attack that um, particular situation. So notes. Uh, at any rate, at any rate, I was also talking about um, the video series that I'm doing on YouTube. So I've got kind of three of them going right now one of them is the free cam developer camera um picking up loads backing up and and delivering or whatever um so if that's something that you want to continue to see let me know okay um got about 120 on each 120 views on each which is down from a normal normal video that I do, but, um, you know, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of different. People don't usually have a still cam in their video with something driving around, you know, it's normally, Hey, I'm in the truck or, and, you know, or whatever on the outside of the truck and this is what I do and so on and so forth. So, um, if the free cams, I mean, I could go further with it, you know, do like the whole, not the whole trip, but pieces of the trip in free cam. So if I'm like taking a right at the, at a light, I'm thinking about, um, you know, kind of following me around there and, you know, just little things. Cause you can't really free cam while you're moving. It just doesn't work that way. Um, it really has to be from a stop. So that's kind of the limitation. Um, so that's number one. If you like that, let me know. Um, if you don't like that, let me know. There are plenty of people on here that tell me what they don't like, so appreciate that too. Uh, so the other one is editing SII files. It's been my experience that um, you can have a wonderful looking model, and if you don't know how to write the SII files, you're not looking so good, you know? Um, so definitely um, going to continue that. I'm probably going to do something like building a file from scratch because most of the stuff that I've been doing has been 
um, here's what I built now let's put it you know and I don't that doesn't really resonate with some folks they're they're like okay well what did you do how did you build the thing you know I don't know so uh, probably gonna do something like that um, and then the third option or series rather is the 3d modding part not the modeling because I am not a modeler I am a modder which is taking parts from other trucks and or moving parts around and stuff like that so um, if that's something that you want to see so I'm, I'm not gonna say what truck do you want me to mod you know because I don't know I don't know the ins and outs in every of every truck. They're not all modeled the same. Not every modeler made all of them. So they're very different in their reactions to what you're trying to make them do and put and all this stuff. It's, it's a little crazy, to be frankly honest. But um, so what I'll do is I'll pick a truck, okay, and then I will say I'm going to take the exhausts you know the stacks and put them on the front or back or whatever and then I'm gonna record that whole you know four hour session or whatever it is that however long it takes and then cut that up into the appropriate pieces that you need and then from there um, I'll put the video out probably voice over it um, to tell you what I'm doing because I feel like that's a failing of a lot of the modding videos is that there's no talking there's zero talking it's just a mouse clicking on whatever that is you know and with especially with blender you can set it up however you want so everybody's screen looks different nobody knows what the hell is going on half the time so just you know that's that's pretty much it for that so um the other thing is the stream, like I was mentioning before. So I have been meaning to stream all the time, and I it's a weird thing for me. It's uh, I want to do it, but I want to do it how I want to do it. And the last time I did that, I had, I don't know, one person watching me, and that was Ego Viking because he hangs out with me on all of my streams so the and the thing I want to do is live modding so kind of take that video modding that I was telling you about on YouTube I could do it live so I could you you could ask me questions and say what it, you know what is it that you did right there what's that thing that you clicked on there what does that do what does that mean why um stuff like that so um you know and then you can watch it back of course and i could also cut it up and then put that up on youtube instead of doing a by myself one for four hours and then cutting it up um, i can do that either way so let me know um how you feel <clears throat> about doing the live modding that would be another option uh, for the the video series um, even though it'd be a stream still and the last one is um, I just spoke uh, of ego Viking um, I need you to go check him out okay if you're on twitch twitch.tv slash ego Viking all right he's gonna be streaming this week he says this week he says um, and so he's going to be, we're going to kind of do a little, um, some fun stuff. You know, we're going to do some, um, some chat back and forth while we're, while one of us is streaming or both of us are streaming or whatever. Um, and kind of, we're kind of working on something. Um, you know, I'm not sure where it's going to go just yet. Um, but I do want to get him, him involved in the community. He's a big sim guy like myself. He does a lot of like business sims and um, like tycoon stuff and things like that. He does play American Truck Simulator. He did play uh, ETS too as well. So um, go check him out. 
you go Viking. Okay. Um, so like I said, we're going to be working on some stuff, some like I did for my 24 hour, um, well, 24 hour that turned into 11. Thanks. You know, thanks internet provider. <laughs> um, the, so we're going to do more stuff like kind of together. We'll see where it goes. Hopefully somewhere. Um, also, you know, so in that vein, um, let me know if you think my voice is too monotone, like people like to say. Did I provide enough excitement for you? Um, because neither Ego Viking or myself are the hype machine. And I know that Twitch is like, their name should be called like Hype TV, not Twitch TV, because that word is like way too overused mostly. So if you're interested in um, folks that, you know, can have a conversation with you and use words that mean things, uh, you probably want to check us out and not tell me that my voice is monotone. Nice truck, but voice is monotone. How about, did you like the video or not? Right. So we'll see you next, next time on Half-Fast Gaming. And thanks as always for the support.